Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. So as you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be trying the ColourPop Feather Effect Styling Wax. Um, this is how the packaging looks like. I bought both shades, Tinted and the Clear. I believe these came out sometime last year and I'm just now getting around to picking them up because I totally forgot about these and I was at Ulta last month and I was like let me try them out and I bought both shade so this is how the packaging looks like I really do like ColourPop packaging is very simple minimal not a lot going on so this is the tinted I haven't used the tinted yet but I've been playing with the clear I've used the clear I believe three times she doesn't look the best right now she's you know she got some residue <laughs> but i do really like these products so i am going to tell you guys right now the only thing i have to say the little it's really small so when i'm using my spoolie i feel as if my spoolie is a little bit too big for it now they do have a spoolie that you could purchase i believe the spoolie is like seven dollars and i believe these retail for nine dollars but i didn't buy the spoolie because i have a lot of spoolies so yeah so the way you're supposed to use these you're supposed to wet it with a setting spray or water to activate it because as you can see nothing's in my hand so you're supposed to spray with water activate it and then apply it to your brow now the way i've been applying it um i've been just brushing my eyebrows and then applying the product i know that you know some people use um a pencil you know to like shade in their eyebrows and then they apply it which eventually i probably will use it like that but i really have been liking just applying it without um using a a pencil like you know a brow pencil i really like it just by itself again i've been using the clear and i so like it i can't wait to see how the tinted is going to look like um i'm gonna apply them the same way because that's how i like to apply it um i just like the product by itself i don't really apply um a pencil or um brow product or anything like that but you are definitely able to do that because i believe that's what it's intended for but i like to just apply the product by itself i'm gonna just apply these two and nothing else so i think this eye right here, my um, right eye, I'm going to, well, my right eyebrow, I'm going to um, apply the tinted, and then the left, I'm going to do the, um, the clear. So I'm going to just spray my setting spray. Again, you can use any one of them, any setting spray that you have. Again, like I mentioned, this is really, really small, so it's like the mirror get wet, the whole Thing get wet so I, I that's the only thing I don't like because I don't like like when it comes to my makeup you guys like I don't like it to look messy <laughs> like when I'm doing my face I always like clean my makeup afterwards because I don't like my makeup looking messy that's just me but this is really small so it's like you can't help it Okay, so this is uh, my right eyebrow is looking like. Um, now, again, this is my first time using the tinted one. And I don't see any difference than how the clear one look on me. Again, I've used the clear one three times. And I don't see any difference. So, I'm assuming if you use it with a brow pencil or something, um, then I guess you will see some color. But... I don't see any difference but I mean I do have dark um, eyebrows eyebrow hairs so I don't think it'll make any difference so now I am going to use the clear on my um, left eyebrow okay so after I brush it up i go with my fingers to just press it to my forehead and um since i didn't really use any um brow product well brow pencil or anything like that like i mean i'm still gonna clean it to make it you know be more crisp and stuff like that so i'm going to go ahead and do my face and then i'll be back 
okay guys so i am back and this is how my eyebrows are looking like i did go with the tinted on this side and then i went with the clear on this side again as i mentioned there's really no difference because I didn't apply a brow product like a brow pencil or anything like that because I didn't really want to um, like apply one to make it darker. I just wanted to use the product by itself because that's how I've been using the clear one. So I just wanted to see if the tinted would really give me some type of tint color, which it doesn't. So I'm assuming if you're up um, eyebrow hair, is a lighter shade then yes you're gonna see a difference but if you have dark eyebrow hairs like mine you could go with either or because they look the same now as i mentioned i've only been using the clear one i think i used it three times and all three times i didn't do a full face all i did was my eyebrows cleaned it up um you know clean it up with the concealer and that was it so i didn't really know how it would react with me doing a full face and then applying a setting spray afterwards and i do have some thoughts because i definitely do like this product for the price i believe again it's nine dollars um and you know alta they always have that coupon that you could use to get it for less and um colourpop items um usually are on sale on colourpop website and alta as well so definitely very inexpensive um for what it is i'll definitely only use these products majority majority of the time when i'm not when i don't have any makeup on when i'm just doing my eyebrows which is what i intentionally wanted to use them for which is why i use it without a brow pencil or anything like that um with me applying it and then doing my face i definitely noticed when i was setting my my face with my setting spray that it started to like not stick to my um my forehead anymore i had to like press it again so keep that in mind again these are not new you guys probably are already aware but yeah so i noticed when i was um putting my um mac fix plus on my face both of them started to get poofy again because i do have long curly um eyebrow hairs so i really like that but for the price and for what it is i'm okay with it because again i'm only going to use it without any makeup now i do know you know um abh has one i don't know if abh one does that because i wanted to try something that was less expensive before spending i believe it's like 30 dollars on the abh one i know that um i tried the nyx one last year which she's okay as well and i know that elf also has one so you know i wanted to try the drugstore version first to see if this is something i wanted to you know spend the full money the full um price on and i do like how it has my eyebrow looking like the only thing again i don't like is the fact that if you are applying a full face and you're going with your setting spray she's gonna bush up again so keep that in mind if you are interested but besides that the price i definitely don't think you could go wrong and it definitely seems like you get a good amount of products in here and they smell really good when you activate it with water or setting spray it has a really nice smell to it so i like that um and it didn't give me any product buildup like as i was applying the product i didn't get any product buildup on the brush or on my um or on my eyebrows which i like again but again i didn't use any brow product um well like pencil to shade in my eyebrows so i don't know maybe if you do that if you probably will get some um product build up but yeah i like it i like it for what i'm gonna use it for again i'm only gonna use them when i don't really have um when i don't really have makeup on i might use it if i'm doing a full face because i already know that now going forward if i'm doing a full face after i spray my face with the setting spray i'm gonna have to um you know press it again but besides that i do like them for the price and for what it is so yeah so that's all i have for today you guys thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching another one i'll see you in the next one bye